patients are given a goal LDL based on their Framingham risk. Some risk factors include age, smoking history, family history for heart disease, and hypertension. Individuals who have zero or only one risk factor require a goal LDL less than 160. With two or more risk factors, you have to calculate a more specific Framingham risk to determine their goal LDL. Patients who have coronary artery disease or CAD equivalents require an LDL less than 100 and ideally less than 70. CAD equivalents include diabetes, carotid artery disease, aortic aneurysm, and peripheral vascular disease. Now let's go through the answer choices. Choice A is a diabetes mellitus patient, therefore the goal LDL should be less than 100, preferably less than 70, as it is for all patients with CAD equivalents. Choice B, CAD carries the same recommendations, as does choice C, 2.5 cm abdominal aortic aneurysm, and choice D, severe carotid artery stenosis. Choice E, hypertension in an obese patient does not necessarily require a goal LDL of less than 100. In this patient, we would have to calculate a Framingham risk score to determine his specific goal LDL.